Walt there, Tony from Six String Country here. Over the last couple of years, we've had a ton of customers write in and ask me to talk a little bit more about the pedals and the amps that I use live. So here we are. Uh, we're going to talk through my favorite couple amps that I'm using right now and then my current pedal board setup. So let's start with the amps. All right, this first one is the Orange AD30 Twin Channel. Comes with the 212 half stack. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of been through it with me. It's a little beat up, but it still sounds great. I've loved this amp for a long time. The twin channel feature is really cool. It's got a foot switchable option in the back uh, so that you can set the first channel to be a good baseline rhythm tone and then you can click through with your foot over to the second channel and you can set that to be a boost or you can give yourself more gain or distortion. Uh, this amp really rips. I mean, I've never had a situation where I couldn't get as much distortion as I wanted just out of the orange. Uh, breaks up really nicely, great amp. Next we have the Cusack Music Hellhound 2060. This is the one I've been using almost exclusively lately. A lot of cool features here. It's either 20 or 60 watts. You select that in the back of the amp. And if you play a lot of different size venues, um, of a smaller venue, you might want that 20 watt option so that you can crank up the gain of the volume a little bit more and get it to break up naturally. If you're playing outside or a big venue, you might want that 60 watts. Uh, the 60 watt is, it's loud. So I don't think you'd ever be in a situation, at least I haven't ever been when I wanted more volume uh, out of the amp. The reverb that's built into it is really nice. It's a great sounding reverb. That schizo button right next to the input jack is really cool. And that functions like the twin channel option on the orange. It's foot switchable. So um, it just gives you a, a nice little boost, gives you a little extra gain if you uh, select the schizo to turn on. The Cusack Music motto is reality and tone. So uh, they'll be the first to tell you that their amps are kind of built with the guitar player in mind who's invested some significant time and energy into their pedal board because the amp's not going to color your tone a whole lot. Uh, it's just going to give you that nice pure tube tone and then it's going to let your pedals do their job. So enough about the amps, let's take a look at the pedal board. All right, so here it is. This is my pedal board. This isn't set up specially for this video or anything. This is exactly how it's going to the gig tonight. Uh, and. Uh, let's start from the top where the guitar comes in. So the guitar comes in right here into this Ernie Ball Junior volume pedal. And this thing is just kind of a handy pedal. It, when it's down like that, it's also a mute pedal. And then I, I use it quite a bit for different volume swells, you know. And then just shuts off your signal real fast too. Um, so that's a pretty basic one. Then it goes straight from the Ernie Ball down to the Pedal Tamer. And the Pedal Tamer is a really cool thing. Um, it's called the PBT-9. It's made by Cusack Music. And uh, what it does is it takes the signal. So I've got it coming in just from uh, the volume pedal. And it shoots it straight out. Uh, and then it goes out the other side of the Pedal Tamer to the amp. And that just means if you've got noisy pedals and all pedals, you know, contribute some noise to your signal, it takes it out of that unless the pedal's engaged. So you'll see all the red lights are on, um, meaning that they're, your pedals stay on all the time and you're gonna decide when you want them to be a part of the loop with this pedal tamer right here. So uh, I'm gonna kind of talk through in order. Up top here, you'll see uh, the name of the pedal that's plugged into this channel. So in loop one, I've got my watt pedal. In loop two, I've got my compressor. In loop three, I've got the fuzz, scream, DD20, reverb, tap it away, tremolo, boost. Uh, you get the idea. And so uh, I'm gonna switch it over here with off mech. And now that red light's gonna come on. And now I'm in mech mode, uh, mechanical mode. So basically what you see is what you get. I'm going to click one, which is my wah loop, and then I have access to my wah pedal. But the wah pedal is a great example of a noisy pedal that if I don't want to use it, I don't want it in the, in the loop. So um, that's number one. Number two is a compressor. It's a Soul Preacher. This is kind of this natural. The compressor is going to do. So the compressor is kind of what gets you that um, country pop. Uh, you know, the authentic country uh, lead guitar players all, all use these compressor pedals. Uh, 
Uh, then we got the fuzz. The fuzz is that little yellow one. It's a Cusack fuzz. Uh, and the cool thing about that one is it's small, so if you got a bunch of pedals, uh, like this board does, uh, it saves you some space. So um, you need a pedal tamer or something to have a pedal like this that doesn't have an on-off switch. So for me, if I'm just playing normally, I can click on the fuzz. That's by far my uh, heaviest pedal. All right, next we got the fuzz's little brother, which is the Cusack Screamer. Um, can relate it to a tube screamer. I just think I just like the sound of the Cusack screamer a little bit better, uh, and it's just a you know it's a good baseline overdrive pedal. Also nice for blues solos. I'm gonna put a little boost on, which we'll talk about later. So that's uh, probably the overdrive pedal that I use the most. Next up, we got the Boss DD20. And the cool thing about this is it's gonna give us a chance to talk about some of the other cool features of the Tamer. So with a delay pedal, you wanna be able to set the tempo, right? And uh, ideally, you wanna be able to tap that with your foot when you're playing live. And so what this Tamer does is say the song starts, you wanna tap your tempo, one, two, three, four. It's gonna hit the DD20, but it's also gonna hit any other pedal that has a tap function uh, that you have plugged in to uh, the Tamer. So I've also got that uh, tremolo pedal that we'll talk about in a minute, and that's got a tap function. So when I set the tempo right there for that DD20, it also set it for the tremolo. Or we can go one, two, three, four. And magically, oops. We've also got the DD20 set. So uh, that's really cool. The DD20's got uh, about a million features. We could spend the whole tutorial on it, but uh, I'll keep moving along. Next up, we've got the QSAC Verb Reverb SME. It's just a really nice sounding reverb. And it, some people use it actually as a boost pedal, because if you want to turn the wet signal all the way off, you could just turn up the volume. I don't use it like that. I like it to be the exact same volume, but we just got a lot of different options, texture, size, um, wet, and so. I like having it on my board. You'll see why later, because we can program these, which we'll talk about in just a minute here, and that way I don't have to keep reaching back to the amp when I want reverb on and off. Uh, all right, next we got this Tappa Delay. It's another delay pedal. It's, you're probably thinking it's a little silly to have uh, two delay pedals on the pedal board, um, but I actually use this as more of a kind of slapback, rockabilly, even almost a little chorus uh, bit of a pedal. So with it off, it would be. You kind of get that slap back. Um, so I actually take, it's got a tap plug right here, but I actually take that out because uh, I, I push the delay all the way to the fastest it goes. I put a little bit of modulation on there and just uh, uh, maybe one over on the feedback. So if that's feedback off, I kind of have it there in the mix at about, I don't know, uh, whatever that would be, 70% or so. And that gives me that nice kind of slap back. Oops, it's off. <laughs> also for, you know, something like Take It Easy. It's, got a, it's just a very versatile pedal and it's worth having on the board for me anyway. Um, next up, we got the Tremolo. It's actually called the Tapo Whirl. I have not encountered a pedal like this. It's a Tremolo pedal that ties into your tap it's got a ton of different options. That wave button right there, there's actually 24 different waveforms. Um, I just like the simple one for most of the stuff that I do. 
Um, the option controls whether it you know is divided by quarter notes, eighth notes. Um, there's a ton of different options there. Uh, level, rate, depth, all those are pretty standard um, buttons for tremolos. But I love it that you can tap it and it will um, match with what you're doing with the song. So that's that one. Then the boost, uh, a little bit of this boost goes a long way. It's called the more louder. And it's just great because it doesn't really color your tone much. It just boosts it. It will color your tone in the sense that it's going to make your amp play louder. And uh, if you have a tube amp, it's going to put a little extra grit on it, which I like because I use it for when I take solos. So if I'm playing here. Normally... All right, cool. So uh, let's get to the fun part. Sometimes it makes sense to play in mech mode if uh, you haven't programmed a tone that you need for a song and uh, you're right there and you need to just kind of make it on the spot. But ideally, you can spend most of the gig in program mode, uh, which lets you have a bunch of preset tones that you can cycle through really easily at the bottom of your board. So we're going to kind of talk through these different ones. I also forgot to mention this tuner pedal. So this is another mode. Click the tuner, the classic Boss, you know, TU2. I've also got a TU3, but I think that's what they're making now. But, um, you know, grab a quick tune. So just plug right in there. It's another way to mute the, the whole sound. All right. So um, I'll just quick talk through my presets. This is kind of just the screamer. So if I'm just playing, you know, background chords in a chorus. Brighten it up a little bit. Then I can click on Scream Wet and it's going to leave my screamer on and just add in some delay and some verb. All right, and then uh, the next one, I nicknamed it One Headlight. I'm a big fan of that, Bringing Down the Horse album by the Wallflowers, and uh, uh, it's also just a good country-ish tone uh, that includes the tap world, the tremolo. Oops, want the neck pickup for that. All right, next up we've got Scream Solo Dry. So, um, if I'm just playing with my Screamer, oops, and then I click Scream Solo Dry, it's just gonna give me that boost pedal added in. So again, this is what I'd probably use for like a blues solo. Or, uh, you know, a little more treble, you could do a rock one. Uh, but it's a, you know, I use this one a ton for solos. Another cool one is that same one as Screamer Wet, right? So if I want my Screamer for a solo with the DD20 and the reverb, and I um, am going to take a solo with it, I just click the Solo Wet, and it adds in my boost. <laughs> Then we get to the fuzz. <laughs> I don't, in my personal plane, uh, have to use the fuzz a ton, but it's handy to have it, and sometimes you do need it. It's just really heavy distortion. And again, if you need even more, you've also got the fuzz wet solo. It just gives a little boost. Next up, we've got the comp dry preset. Uh, this is just going to turn on 
the compressor. And since I wrote that draw underneath there, I did add in a little tap uh, delay to give it that rockabilly sound. And that's just going to be for comping behind a, you know, authentic country or a country blues track. <laughs> idea um if we wanted to take a solo in a situation like that we'd probably do comp what solo that's just i'm going to add in a little reverb and a uh, boost so we could do something like If you ever do go about getting a tamer, I'll do a real quick demonstration of how you go about doing the programming. All right, I'll try not to get in the way too much. Um, so to set the programs, you're either in mech mode with the light on, or you're in preset mode with that light off. I am going to push the tuner and the uh, mech off button when we're in preset mode together at the same time and then you see all these yellow lights blink so if I want to reprogram the screamer I'll click the screamer and now it's you'll see that it's currently programmed for that but right now I have the ability to add anything else in that I want so if I wanted to put some tremolo you put some tremolo if I wanted in some comp you could do that too that's going to be noisy let's try the dd20 all right so now I'm done if I'm done and I want that to be my new first preset just click the off and now you're back you can do anything else but if you're done with messing around with it off one more time and now you're just back to normal preset mode and there you go now i'd happen to not want that on there so i'm gonna get back into program mode go back to one and i'm gonna take off the tremolo take off the delay get off get out of program mode and we're back all right, so as I've said before, the journey for tone is kind of an ongoing thing. Uh, pedal board configurations are always changing. You know, the amps that you're into are always changing. But as of right now, uh, this is the way my pedal board looks, and these are the amps I'm using. So there you have it.